What's up, everybody? We're going to play Woidle for Friday, uh, February 16, 2024. We have a super cool challenge, and then stay tuned because we have a brand new challenge to announce, guys. It's going to be super cool. It is going to be a head-to-head -head challenge against another YouTuber. I bet you can predict who it'll be, but before we do that, we have to uh, solve today's Woidle, and at the same time, are you ready for this? Here's how it works. We have to take um, a word, our guess, and make sure that it could be inside a longer word, okay? It can neither begin the word nor terminate the word. It has to be deep inside the word, okay? Not that deep, but has to be flanked on either side by some other letters. Because this is so incredibly difficult, I am going to allow the, um, uh, the obligatory plural S, okay? What are we going to start with? Um, what are we going to start with? Uh, we're going to start with, uh, I think, you know, uh, yesterday's demo, I did um, stables. I did stables. We'll go a little different today. Um, I believe light's been an answer, um, but we're going to we're gonna do light. Why would light um, work for the challenge? Very easy, guys, because we could turn it into slightly. So just imagine S in front and an L-Y. These are the exact types of words that we're only allowed to use in our guesses. So let's try light. And look at that. We got the H and the T to light up. I'm actually very happy about that. I'm actually very happy about that. Obviously, the first thing I'm thinking about is a TH word. Like, um, oh, let's see. So I think we're starting to run out of words. Like, you know, we've had those. I think we had three recently. I think we've had there. Uh, how about thorn? Okay. I like thorn. So how could we test that? I mean, that would just be an awesome word, right? Now, sadly, um, I mean, we could add a Y for thorny, but I just don't know what we could put in front, right? Um, no, that's too bad because I'm really liking thorn, although have we had it? Hmm, we actually might have had it now that I think about it, but that's okay. I still think this would be a great word to test. We could do an anagram of it. Uh, we could do north, actually, which would which would be good because we'd still be testing the T and the H in new locations. Um, again, you know, you could do northerly um, or northwest or northeast, but I can't think what to put in front. Too bad. Uh, what else could we do? Um, I'm thinking of like pathogen. I doubt that thoge would be a word. Yeah. Pathogen. Oh boy. Um, what about S H? So S, how about S T? Um, Oh, here we go. Oh, this is great. Untruthful, guys. Untruthful. Okay? So let's see about truth. Again, I think we've had it, but I really like this. Okay. Okay, not bad. So our T is either second or third, and we got our H locked in. So now, uh, let's see what we could do now. Interesting that the, okay, so uh, that means very, it's very plausible, right? In fact, I would wager that it has to end in sh, okay? And that there and then the t would probably be second. So now we could probably get we could get our word guys, that'd be insane. Um stash? I don't think we've had stash. Let's think about stash. I think we got this guys. I think it's going to be stash. Um, let me just double check. I'm just checking, okay, could it be Tesh something? Nah, that would be weird. Tosh. And then if we do Tash, 
it can only be stash. Guys, did we get stash and threat, which obviously would be a word that doesn't quite um, satisfy the challenge because uh, I can't think of any words that you could create where stash would be inside it. That doesn't matter because if it's right, we're done. Uh, did we get it in three? Yes, we did. We did. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. Um, so again, just to make sure that we honor the challenge, light would be inside slightly, truth would be inside untruthful, and then stash is all set. And that truth actually ended up still being a really great guess um, because it lit up the H, which was perfect. We knew the S had to go there and we were able to more or less locate our T. So that was really, really good. And now we have a super cool challenge, guys. Are you ready? Please join me on the infinite wordle. All right, guys, tomorrow's challenge is gonna be insanely difficult. Uh, we have done this in the past, maybe once or twice. Uh, as you guys know, the worst starter word imaginable is Xyla. However, Art takes it to the next level. He doesn't just enter it once, he enters it twice. Oh my God, I hope this happens tomorrow. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was, that's, whoa, that's insane. Okay. So, yeah, pretty incredible. Um, and I think I'm going to add one more caveat, and that is that um, we have to play in hard mode when we do this. That's going to make this ridiculous. So this one, of course, couldn't have gone better. Um, you have two L's and a Y. Like, that is insane. Like, it's like literally the best possible outcome you could ever get because you wouldn't, I don't think there would even be a word with two L's and two Y's. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is literally the best possible outcome. That's incredible. Okay. So uh, I think we're probably looking at, um, obviously we're, we're looking at this. Now the thing is, um, I might regret keeping in hard mode because this type of structure has a ton of things. You've got jelly, belly, golly. Oh shoot. Yeah, this is a trap. Pulley, fully. All right. What are we going to do here, guys? If we stay in hard mode, I might have to re renege on that, but... Ouch. All right. So we know we have a trap. The question is, do we have to commit to this structure right now? Um, sort of do. I mean, there's very little wiggle room. I think we just have to commit to it. So we got to have to do something like, um, yeah, this is, this is bad. This is really bad. Basically have four guesses. I mean, even, and, and the thing is you have to test both the vowels and the consonants that go in front of them. I mean, I guess the strategy would be pick a, pick a vowel that could have, um, Pick, a, pick, two, pick two vowels that could take the same consonant. I think that's the way to go. So, for instance, um, bully and belly. Okay. So, we got rid of the U, and we know it wouldn't be belly. Uh, oh, man, then there's even the I. Oh, this is, this is a horrible trap. <laughs> I mean, this is just pure luck, right? Hilly. Or silly. So now we have, uh, we could do now our A's, of which there's tons. Tally. Or rally. <laughs> wow, that's insane. It's hilarious, right, guys? It looks incredible. And then this is an automatic fail. Um, and it still has an E or an O possibility. Um, let's do Holly. Oh man, it was jelly. Darn it. I was, I was thinking maybe jelly uh, for the last one, but I switched to Holly at the last second. Look at that. And we had to go through all the vowels. That, that's ridiculous. So I think I might have to repeal the hard mode part of this challenge because it just seems like 
I mean, that was like the worst. Actually, it's hilarious. It's the it's both the best possible outcome and the worst possible outcome, isn't it, for hard mode? Now, it still would have taken some work to get out of that, uh, even with um, not playing in hard mode. But I think we could have. I think we could have had it. Um, I think we could have had it. Test all the. You know, just test something like a Jew to get a ton of. Um, uh, just to get a really good vowel rich word, we would have had the e, and then we could have tested, you know, the b, the j, uh, would have probably been, been the most likely candidate. So that's very disappointing. Um, I guess what am I going to say, guys, is that we are going to do the double xylo challenge, but we are not required to play in hard mode, okay? Yeah, let's keep it like that. Oh, that was brutal. Look at that. That is just, oh, man. It's like both heaven and hell in, right in front of your face. So with that in mind, guys, on that rather scary note, um, if you're willing to put your streak on the line tomorrow, join me with the double xylo challenge. But no, you do not need to stay in hard mode. Have a good one, guys. And yes, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next challenge edition of Word of Art.